Hey everyone, what's up? Chris Hughes here. And in this video, I'm actually going to walk you through the creation of a Facebook ad. And what's gonna happen here is someone just asked me how to actually do this. And I wanted to put together a simple little tutorial so that everyone could walk through it the same. And if you like my little hair thing, we just moved into a new apartment and I wash my hair today and my hair's long, so it drips down in my face. So that's why I have it up in a little ponytail until I get it cut. Um, but to start off with, if you go to business.facebook.com and open up the ads manager, you're gonna come to this screen that you're seeing right here. And what we're gonna do is, in another video, I talked about custom audiences. So I'm just gonna create a simple ad to an existing custom audience so that you can do the same thing. So all you gotta do is go to the create button over here and it's a little green box thing. And what we'll do is, depending on what your objective is for your uh, particular ad campaign, uh, in this instance, uh, the person who asked me the question was looking for, I, I recommended using a page post engagement for a live video so that they could build up their community and basically target people who are already watching and consuming a lot of the content. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a page post engagement. And you'll see here there's an awareness ad, uh, brand awareness and reach. I don't, I don't really like these ads. They're, it's, it's not direct response, so you're not immediately getting a result from it that's valuable. And if you're spending your hard earned money on Facebook ads, you don't wanna just you know, hope and pray that something happens. Um, so what I do recommend doing is this under consideration. If you go to engagement, this is a good one. Uh, I also use conversion ads a lot. Uh, lead generation works well. Video views is good for getting an audience created. You can do messages, um, even traffic. When you're just starting a new offer, using traffic is a, it's a good way to get uh, more people to see your offer. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna do engagement. And I'm gonna you scroll down a little. And you'll see here there's page or a post engagement there's page likes and event responses what we're going to do is just post engagement and you always want to name your campaign something so that uh, you know it's easy for you to understand what you're doing so if you're selling a particular product or it's a video specific to something you'll want to label it uh, according to that i use ppe page post engagement just because that's that's what i know <laughs> for when i like review all my ads and stuff so we'll do PPE, WCH, that's who's Chris Hughes, that's my brand. Um, and what videos do I have recently that I can use as an example? So I'll go to, um, how about this one? Being deliberate about the results you want. Oops, I can't even spell. Being deliberate about results video. And all you gotta do is click on continue and what we'll do here is you'll want to name your ad sets. You'll see here that it just says US-18+. Uh, this is the default that happens when you're doing this, and what I recommend doing is using the custom audience in this instance for the person who asked me the question. So I'll do, let's see, like I have one for the email list, uh, lookalikes. So this could be good. Uh, this is a lookalike audience of 1% uh, of the people who watched 25% of one of my other videos. There's also, this is a, probably a better one, the one who watched 50% uh, of that video. So this is, in this example, basically, if you think about it as uh, the video that I did the ad for, this is Ever Feel Weird About Advertising Your Business. And it was, I think, four minutes long. So. 50% viewers will be people who watch two minutes of that video. So usually if someone watches a video for two minutes, they, they kind of like you. They, you know, at least want to learn a little bit more from you. So the lookalike for that will find other people who will watch at least like 50% of your video, ideally. So nothing works perfectly 100% of the time though. So keep that in mind. Um, but after this, we'll scroll down and... You know, you can change the age range if you know your buyers, if you know the data from, you know, historically running ads and like knowing all your numbers and stuff, you can change these things. If you don't know those, uh, I'd recommend keeping it pretty open until you find those numbers. So for me, I'm actually going to change this to, we'll do, uh, we'll do actually 64. I'm going to keep it open gender wise. We'll do... English, I always put English in there because it'll shrink it down because I speak English and I don't want someone who 
speaks like Arabic or someone who speaks Thai or you know Tagalog or something to see my video and not understand it. It's just a waste of money uh, getting in front of someone who doesn't understand what you're talking about. Um, for the look like stuff, it does most of the detailed targeting, so you don't really need to do this. Alexa is going off. Alexa, stop. I don't even know what word sounded like that. But so detailed targeting. If you know some interests that uh, could be interested in buying your stuff, like if you sell a particular product and a brand is a big power seller in that, you can include that. In this instance, I'm not going to. Um, placements, I always choose placements because you don't want Facebook to uh, just kind of blast it all over the place. You want to be very specific about where you're putting stuff. So I'll do, I usually set up a campaign for mobile. And you'll see here I just have mobile selected and I only do the Facebook news feeds. I take all the other stuff off. Um, and in this case, uh, you'll see the ad set name. I didn't change it yet because I was still creating the thing. And I usually do only when connected to Wi-Fi because uh, if you're to be advertising your product and let's say, for example, you're selling something, if, you're, if, if the video that you're doing shows up on someone's phone and they're not at home, uh, there's a good chance that they're going to be like closing the phone pretty soon. However, if they're connected to Wi-Fi, it's someplace that they're comfortable, they have logged in, so they're gonna be there for a while. So I always add that. Okay, so we'll do US 25 to 34. We'll have lookalike, LAL, I use for lookalike. 50% feel weird advertising video for, which video am I doing this for? So is being deliberate, being deliberate. Okay, so we'll scroll down again. And what you can do is you can start off at like one to two dollars a day. Um, after that, you click continue. And what you'll do is if you have an existing post, you'll select that. And in this case, I do. So Chris uses the page I'm running this on, creative. Uh, I'll see if I can find this. Okay, there it is. So what you can do also is these call to action buttons and this will just put a, a little button down below your video so that people can take action. And ideally you want to either send someone to a landing page where you can capture their information and I recommend using ClickFunnels for that. Uh, I will include a link down below for a free trial for that so you can go through. It's a sales funnel builder. So what it does is it allows you to capture leads and convert them to sales. Uh, other times I usually, uh, I'll, I'll either send people there or I'll send people directly to my up page messenger because you can set up a chat bot that'll you know, answer questions and kind of pre-qualify people and get people to know, like, and trust you quicker. So in this case, I have a send message is all I'm doing. So in this video, I'm not sure if I, I, probably give a call to action to send my page a message because I've been doing that lately. Um, so what happens will generate automatically if you don't have captions. Um, I'm not going to read this right now because I'll, I'll go back and fix this later on. But once this is set up, all you got to do is click on confirm and you'll have your first ad set up. Oh, I forgot ad name. So you, you'll want to label this being deliberate about what you want mobile so I can click on confirm I'll do that right now actually and what I do next is I'll go back into that campaign and I'll duplicate it and I'll I'll run a test between mobile and desktop so you'll see here I'll click on it and I'll go to duplicate and under original campaign I'll click duplicate and is this the duplicate? Okay. So video for being deliberate and we'll change this to desktop. And I'll go down to device type and click on desktop and remove mobile. And we'll do the same thing. Just keep it on uh, Facebook newsfeed. Everything else will be the same. And after that, it's just review and publish. 
So we'll put this up <coughs> and you'll see it'll be the same budget because it duplicates everything else. So all of the rest of the campaign data is just copied. And this is one of the best ways that you can kind of test uh, different things. So I always do, you can, you can break everything up from ages. So you can have 18 to 24 desktop mobile, uh, 25 to 34 desktop mobile, and these are each individual split tests. You can do this with interest. You can do this with pretty much everything. Uh, and the more creative and the more data that you have, the more you'll understand your customer, your clients, and the better you'll get with your targeting. But that's it for this video. If you have questions, be sure to let me know. And if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel so you can get more tutorials just like this. If you're watching this on Facebook, do the same thing. Like my page and send my page a message if you have questions. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.